trying to just bring hydrogen to cars or bring hydrogen to trains or to mobility. But we are trying to have a sort of systemic approach. Why? Essentially because hydrogen is at the crossroads of many different forms of energy. It's a great partnership, it's a great people, a great group of people in the industry and companies to be involved in. We're very excited about the future and on behalf of the extractive industries and in platinum in particular, it's great to be here with this great group of people trying to help provide a much greater future for all of us in terms of green solutions for the long term. Because you know what is really interesting with hydrogen is that it allows to be more energy efficient. If you have a combustion engine, you have less than 30% of efficiency. It means that more than 70% of the fuel you put in your tank is lost in heat, instead of having the car moving. If you have an electric engine, like the one we have on Solar Impulse, we have 97% efficiency. You lose only 3% instead of 70%. So if you have an electric engine run by fuel cells with hydrogen, you have a complete chain. The Hydrogen Council is ready to contribute to your effort for achieving a low-carbon society. At this early stage, unless we have strong governmental support, this transformation isn't possible. Hydrogen will solve two major issues. First one is green mobility, which is needed for cities and all territories. And the second one is storage and transportation of renewables. We all know that the world of energy is transforming uh, and it's transforming fast. Uh, we need more energy, probably twice as much energy in the course of this century, but we need it with a whole lot less carbon dioxide. And that's a major challenge. Um, it means that changes are going to be made in virtually every part of society and an, an unprecedented level of collaboration is going to be required between all elements of society as well. Now I think uh, the Hydrogen Council uh, is sharing with you today a vision on how hydrogen could play a key role in it. Um, and we believe, of course, otherwise we wouldn't be here that hydrogen has massive potential. Uh, this molecule is just perfect. Uh, you know, uh, just remember if you want to, 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 to burn hydrogen, you have no CO2 emission, no particles, no noise, no noise, we forget that. Uh, uh, you can refill a, a, a tanks in less than five minutes and you can have a range of 500 kilometers. So why should we, uh, why do we wait for that?